Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of season 2 here in the Achieve and Leave series. In the last one, I offered you the opportunity to vote on whether I should or should not take the England international management job. Since then, it has occurred to me that I actually need to record ahead a little bit because I'm going away at the weekend and <laughs> I'm having to record this next episode before you see the episode where the vote is. So I'm going to preemptively accept and then if you guys vote have voted no, then I shall just resign. If you voted yes, then we're already here and we can stay. Uh, that hasn't quite worked as I envisaged it, I apologise, but we can still... <laughs> I can still kind of act upon your vote. I will just do it in a couple of episodes time. I just wanted to accept now to ensure that if you did vote yes, I have the job. If you vote no, then I can just resign and as such follow your wishes with regards to the, uh, the England international management job. Apologies for that. Uh, it just kind of slipped my mind when I was recording videos. But we started the La Liga season yesterday. Not yesterday. Today's Saturday, Thursday. And we were able to get ourselves... Uh, three victories. So I'm looking to build on that because we haven't read. Oh, they're international friendlies, are they? Oh no, group stage of qualifiers. <laughs> Great. Um, right. I'll simulate the game against Poland. Oh, perhaps even play the game with Portugal. So I shall play Portugal. Zagreb. No, I'm not. I'll see. What? Let me check and see what the group looks like because I don't want to. I don't want to miss out on games at Atleti because I've taken a, the international job at England and then uh, you guys would be questioning what I'm doing, especially if I you voted no. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are the last two games of the qualifiers. So I'll sim them, I'll sim them both and England are already qualified. So I can sim them both and not worry about it. Right, okay. <laughs> Panic over. So we'll sim those two. <laughs> And then I want I want to play Dinamo Zagreb, and we'll play we'll play we'll play via Delid and Malaga then I think or Ibar via Delid and Malaga. Mm, I definitely want to play in the Champions League. Let's do Zagreb, via Delid and Malaga. Right, decision made. Cool. I've really thrown myself off today, haven't I? Drop the video a like if you enjoyed the episode. Release course played for Pervader. Thank you. And make sure you subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes of this series. Uh, if you haven't yet voted on the vote yesterday as to whether I should or should not take this England job, then do go and do so because I, as of yet, haven't acted upon the... <laughs> as you see this video, I, as of yet, haven't acted upon the outcome of that result. So do go and do that. The England side looks like this. Rashford, Kane, Sterling, Lingard, Ali, Dyer, Rose, Maguire, Stones, Walker. Pretty decent. Jaden Sancho in the England uh, lineup, of course. Let's put him onto the bench. And let's throw Ryan Session on there as well. Perhaps we could look to youth. In fact, I'm tempted to put Session on wide left, actually, but we won't for now. I won't go in too de I won't go too in depth for the England side at this stage because I don't know whether you want me to take it or not. So I shall just simulate the game against Poland and Portugal. I'll show you them. I might as well. Because if you voted yes, then you'll want to see them. But international friendlies, for sure, I won't play with England. But well, now I'm not going to have any qualifiers to play left either. So I won't be playing those. But I will play, of course, the international tournament. And then we shall take it from there. If you voted yes. If you voted no, I'll just resign. And uh, <laughs> we'll wait and see what happens at a later date. You might want me to take an international job, but not the England one. Although we could always take England to Euro 2020 and then resign and play or sign for a different country for the World Cup in 2022. Get a victory against Poland by two goals to one. Thank you very much. We're going to simulate... Oh, Pervader sold. Good. He's agreed contract terms with someone else. That's superb. We shall see in Portugal. Guaranteed to finish top of the group, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Portugal presumably are going to be decent still. Yeah. Carvalho gives them a 1-0 lead in the sixth minute. Thank you, William. Rafa, Ronaldo and Guedes as their front three. Fernandes, Silva and Carvalho in the midfield with Cancelo, Mendes, Diaz and Mario Rui at the back with Antonio Lopez. Ah, oh, great. 
Jetson Fernandez gives them a 2 0 lead, but Marcus Rashford pulls one back for us from left wing. And we might be able to get a draw. Nope. We're not able to get a draw. It's a 2 1 defeat to Portugal. That doesn't matter because we don't care. Um, we're already finishing top of the group. Did Rossi. Will it let me train Wagner? It's going to let me train Wagner, who isn't at my club. Because <laughs> I've still got the preset. I can still train. Well, that's odd. I don't know whether to utilise that or not. I probably won't, thinking about it. I won't. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna train Wagner whilst he's not at my club because that's cheating. It's definitely going against the rules. So I won't do that, but I will continue to train Edwards because I've loaned him in. And of course, uh Rossi are Scout Future star for this season, the left winger. So hopefully we can get a win here against Ibar, please. He says there's literally nothing has happened in the first forty five minutes. They get a booking and then go 1-0 up through De Blasis. Excuse me, lads. It's Ibar, if you don't mind. Thank you, Diego. Bloody hell. A one-all draw away from home against Ibar. And it's going to be... Oh, uh, no, no, no. Skip, skip. Cut. Right, a cut there. I don't want a copyright strike. Thank you very much, UEFA. Leave me alone. Let's go and train uh, Wagner. Not Wagner. He said he was zero rated there a moment ago, I'm pretty sure. Regardless, let's go train Rossi. And then we can train Edwards next time. Right, so Dinamo Zagreb into Milan and PSV in our Champions League group. So it's certainly a winnable group. Most certainly a qualifiable group. And uh, we may even give Sergio Aguero a run out for the first time in this upcoming game. Bernard Mensah wants to play. Maybe, actually, considering it's not the most difficult of games. I might not start him, but perhaps I can bring him off the bench. In fact, bollocks to it. Depending on the fitness of everyone else, I might start him. Let's have a look. What does this stamina look like for everyone else? Oh, everyone's pretty pretty much okay. Okay, we'll take Diego Costa up for... No, not to Palatelli. For Sergio Aguero. Jimenez for... No, Godin for Boateng. Uh, Thomas for Saul. And Mensah is no longer on my bench, actually. Sorry, pal. Uh, I'll put him on the bench and I'll bring him on for sale. What should we have a coke? No, let's leave it for now. Actually, let's give Edwards a game centre back ahead of Jimenez. Let's do that. All right, here we go then. Dinamo Zagreb away, our first Champions League game of the season. Well, and they've got some talent in their squad as well. Olmo on the attack for Zagreb. Nice interception. Well Nelson Martins gets that forward to Aguero, who loses possession immediately. Not the best welcome. On. For me, Atle back at Atleti for you, sir, Sergio, but this time he keeps possession and plays it forward to Jelson Martins, who will find Griezmann, who's turned into a defender as well. Okay, and he's won it back, Jelson Martins. There's Sergio Aguero. He will be able to get on the end of this. Hopefully, he's chested it down well. We'll just poke it there looking for Jelson Martins. Hit it early to catch the keeper out. It's going to come back off the post, and Aguero lashes it home. Aguero! <laughs> Welcome back to Atleti, my man. Nine minutes for the number nine, and he has his first goal. In fact, it's less than that. It's the eighth minute for the number nine, and he has his first goal. He very nearly had an assist. But, oh, Christ, did he lash that home. Atletico Madrid one, Dinamo Zagreb nil. You might be in for a battering here, boys. Hernandez into Thomas. What's there to Koke? That went nicely to Shime Vesalco. Back there to Koke. Okay. Rifle that in there to Sergio Aguero. Griezmann has the space to run into. I haven't yet scored with him in this save. I still haven't scored with him in this save. Wow. Off the bar. A look for Tom Alomar here. Okay. Well, the first one was meant for him. The second one found him. Is that a foul? It's not. Griezmann will hurdle the man. And somehow the defender got to that first. It's like reached around Antoine Griezmann to get his foot on that. Thomas with a good touch. Can't find a teammate and so I'm going to come away with it. I should be 2-0 up here. They might be making it 1-1 though. Edwards trying to catch up with the man, but Oblak positioned well to make the stop. Hmm, they got a little bit end-to-end -end for a moment there, didn't it? Thomas Partey looking for Tom Alamar, but he's a terrible pass. Okay, through that gap nicely to Griezmann. Oh, really well played. Griezmann. Good save by Leverkovic. Still yet to find Antoine's first goal of the series. That came off the defender, I believe. It is another corner. I could do with 
Khatroda or Sabi from corners. Good night, Aerial Elite. Jerome Boateng goes up and wins that, but still no goal. I can't believe we're this far in and Griezmann hasn't scored a bloody goal yet. That's outrageous. Even in simulated games, I don't think he scored a goal yet. Aguero forward to Antoine. Thomas out to Tom Olimar, who's picked up a booking for something. I can't remember him getting involved in a challenge, let alone booked for it. Jetson trying to get that through there. Sergio Aguero to Jetson. Fernandez. Oh, it's the second time we've hit the bar. Griezmann's hit it. Now Jetson Fernandez has hit it. But now he has a goal. Found himself in some space there. Really well found by the midfielder. We have ourselves a 2 0 lead and probably now three points in our first Champions League game. Griezmann nicely there into Koke. And there's Jetson Fernandez away. And I'll just lay this inside. Griezmann will back in and still hasn't scored. Aguero, though. Come on. Come on. Three times I've hit the woodwork in this game. I can't quite believe it. Come on, that's Aguero. Griezmann. Can he get an assist? No. Oh, it's just not going for Griezmann so far. I can't score with him. Mensa. Lamar to Mensa again. Looking for Diego Costa around the corner to Griezmann. It's not going to short to Rodri. In here to Jelson. Martins. There's Diego. Diego Costa's finesse shots are broken. They just never go on target. I don't know why. Headed by Jelson Martins. Diego brings that down. Pokes it for Antoine. Who's in behind. Surely now. Surely now. A goal for Griezmann. Hey! 3 0. And he's got his first goal. Oh, he's back at it. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? 3 0. Win that, Luca. Well up. Great header by Luca Hernandez. Tom Alamar gets it under control. Mensar into the middle. It's going to be a 3 0 victory for us here against. Dinamo Zagreb, it might even be more. Looking for Griezmann around the corner. Can't get to it. Somehow still has possession there. We'll scoop it into the middle. Jelson will pull it back. And Mensah. Well, that would have been a worldy of a finish. It's a 3 0 win. Sergio Aguero gets his first goal whilst being back at Atletico Madrid after eight minutes on his debut. Wonderful. I think the Champions League group might be pretty straightforward. We should be able to do that to pay us fair as well. It's only really into Milan that I'm slightly concerned about with regards to the strength of their team. But um, hmm. who do I play next? Let's simulate the game against Alaves and then just play via Dalid and Malaga, shall we? Seeing as we're still going here in this highlight. They're quite happy to be back in the starting lineup or back playing at least coming off the bench. For Bernard Mensah has asked. Ah, thank you, Benfica. Finally, enough for Vitolo. It's a decent one too. Glad I continued this highlight now. Um, I'll try and get plus 20 million for him, although he is 29. So maybe just 20 million on the nose might be as, as good as I can get. And I might not even get it. A 9% sell up clause. Uh, how about 18.8? Thank you. All right, Vitolo looks like he's going to go. That should open up enough money to really give us a decent sized budget to go and get a wing back in the January transfer window, which is of course what we want to do. Release clause played by paid for by Montero. We're currently fifth in the league now, thanks to that draw against Eibar. Hopefully this time in a simulated game we can come away with a positive result. It's Alaves at home. Admittedly the game against Eibar was away. I never know whether it's Eibar or Eibar or both. Saul gives them or gives us even a 1-0 lead. Lamar picks up a knock. Hopefully it's not too difficult for him. Too difficult. Too serious for him. Griezmann gets another. Hopefully now we've started the ball rolling with him. Diego Costa picks up a third. It's going to be a convincing victory here against Alaves. Will he get to fourth? We are. Diego Costa gets his second. 4-0. Costa proving to be a better striker than Antoine Griezmann at present. Uh, oh, he's only three days. That's fine. Angel Correa is unhappy at not playing thus far so far this season. But if Tom Olimar is injured, then I might as well give you a start in this next game, might I? Angel. Up next for us is Valladolid, followed by Malaga. Go. Selko around the outside to Chelsea Martins. Looking for Diego, but it's a poor pass. Well. I decided playing well so far. Evidently, 
Again, pass is waylaid. Looking for Angel Correa through the gap. The defender was able to spin around in a full circle and still get there whilst not really losing any momentum with his sprint speed. That was slightly questionable. Rodri struck that very well indeed. Good save by Massif. Corner from... Oh, Griezmann's taking it. Why is that? Don't know. Jerome Boateng's underneath it, but he heads wide. We could have been 1-0 up. We are not. Bayerail around the corner to Miguel. Not had the best of starts to the season via the lead. They just said in commentary they've lost their last two games. So you'd like to think that with us chasing a league title, this is the sort of game that we should be winning away from home. Regardless of opposition, we should probably be winning the majority of our games. Regardless of whether they're home or away against almost every side. You'd say it's only five or six teams that would really give us too much of a test in La Liga. It's not the strongest of divisions. Wait for Jelson Martins and use his pace. Then maybe look for Griezmann or even Angel Correa. He's asked for the start. I turned a little bit too much there. That's my fault. I turned well and then just went a little bit too far further round to the right-hand side and had already committed to the shot, sadly. Half an hour in, it's still nil-nil, but we are, create we are creating chances. I don't know what the defender's doing there. That's completely inexplicable. That's only something that would happen on FIFA, I think. So, looking for Correa. Let's try again. Never mind, blocked at source. Just over half an hour in now, and it's still nil-nil here against Valladolid. Nice ball over the top. Looking for Mayoral early into the middle. Oh, Jose Maria Jimenez nearly tested that to his own net. It's going to be a corner. Why the keeper went for it with his legs, I don't know. If he goes that with his hands, he probably catches it. Nice headed clearance by Saul. Griezmann just gets that first and will dart away from the defender. And now we're in behind with Antoine Griezmann. Although the defender has kept up with him superbly well. Angel Correa to Diego Costa. I've got Jelson Martins there and he's played in. Oh, he's won the 50-50 but can't come away with possession. Rodri should win that header though and finds Griezmann who gets it down, turns well, let's fly. Everything being blocked at the minute by the Valladolid back line. Costa there, look for Martins. Cut back, deliver it in. Griezmann! There's another goal for Antoine. Rising above the defender. Atleti won Valladolid nil just before half time. Ida Monti, cross there to Miguel. It's off the 1-2. The one, two, three. It's worked well. Mayoral in behind. Luca Hernandez trying to close him down. Not done that very well, but Boateng's there to win the header. Correa knocks it down to Griezmann. Correa will go again. And I'll just look to burst in behind here if we can. I'm not sure what Correa's sprint speed is these days on FIFA. Just knock that in there to Saul, who'll turn well. Diego Costa. I want to try and get a laces shot away with Diego rather than a finesse, because the finesses just don't seem to work with him for some reason. They always... Arraigned wide, regardless of what I do with a stick. Trying to get it through to Griezmann and can't. Twice. Sums up this game, really. Just not good enough from either side. Thankfully, we were able to get ourselves the 1-0 lead just before half-time. But just really poor from everyone in this game. Really poor from everyone. And Correa just runs straight into the man when I'm trying to break into the space in behind him as well. And again, given away by Valladolid. This game has just been terrible by both teams. Thankfully, we have seen some quality. This time from Antoine Griezmann, and he's doing the daddy shark again. It's 2-0, and it's 2 for Antoine. It's about time we started to score goals with him. Maybe we've turned the corner with Griezmann, and he'll start scoring goals in this series at the same rate that Savvy has done in the RTG. Here's Rodri. This Saul. Griezmann on a hat-trick. Gets it out of his feet. Griezmann has a hat-trick. Valladolid held firm for as long as they possibly could. But it is going to be a 3-0 scoreline in the 77th minute. And there's still time to go and score a fourth. Big, quite a few games for us in La Liga are going to be this straightforward. 71 and 77. Two quick goals there for Griezmann. It's going to be an easier season with regards to the league than it was at Chelsea. But... It's probably going to be just as difficult, if not more so, in European competition. I'd like to think the Copa del Rey is something we could certainly put our names in for as well. Thomas has come on in midfield. I'll try and get this to Mario Balotelli, but failed to do so. I'll have to get some sort of graphic made up with regards to our trophy cabinet. And then we can um, 
we can keep tabs on what trophies we've gotten in what countries throughout the save. Balotelli straight down the throat of the keeper. Griezmann out to Koke. Into Mario. Oh, we still don't have a fourth. I mean, I had to bury that, surely. I really had to put that away. Rodri will look for Thomas. Thomas will look for Mario. It's a good turn, but running out of room. Uh, I'll just lay that back. Don't blow your whistle yet, Riff. Oh, okay, blow your whistle now. I wanted to try to score a fourth. Never mind. It's a match ball for Antoine Griezmann. His three goals give us a win away from him against Vlade Delic, who created nothing in the entire game. Let's hope we can do exactly that again against Malaga, who've just lost at home against Corona. Hopefully, it should be another straightforward victory. We are top of the table. But we are level on points with Barcelona and Valencia. Real Madrid just four behind. Still unbeaten, but drawn three of their opening six. Up next for us is Malaga. Corner for Malaga in the 28th minute. Antiveros to deliver it into the middle. And it's a good ball in too. Jose Maria Jimenez wins it well. We've started a rotated side here or a mixed side and it certainly feels like a team that isn't at full strength. A little bit disjointed. Not necessarily firing on all cylinders. But it's certainly a feeling I'm going to have to get used to because it, it seems pointless to do a series like this and strengthen with signings to, you know, build my squad depth to then only play with the same 11 week on week when we have the opportunity to. So I want to try and change things around. I want to make use of the full squad. And hopefully we will be able to do that. And that would have been a hell of a goal from the right back Santiago Arias had it found its way into the back of the net. Lamar will deliver the corner, and it's a good one. Jimenez might be underneath it. He's won that well. It's Balotelli, in fact, that had the effort in the end. Oh, how has he headed that through Jelson Martins? That's pretty ridiculous. Hmm. Not the best of first halves for us here. Not the best of first halves for us here at all. Johnny getting away from Arias. Looking down the line, but Jimenez should have that covered. I don't know how fast Impenza is. He's not going to beat Jose Maria Jimenez for, for pace or strength. And we might actually keep this highlight going because we could send... No, we can't send Aguero through. We could send Jelson Martins through perhaps, though. Can't do that either. Great. What a first half we're having here at home against Malaga. One to forget so far. Hopefully we can at least end up with some sort of memorable result at the end. Okay. Forward to Cesc. Aguero's made a great run. And Cesc Fabregas has the vision to find him, as you might expect he does. Deadly. Clinical pass. Clinical finish. Fabregas to Aguero. That's the sort of quality this game has lacked so far. Beautiful pass by Cesc. Just so calmly outside the foot. Barely any power on it. Perfect weight. Aguero runs on. And then with the outside of his right. Yeah, with the outside of his right foot. Smacks it into the top corner. 1-0 Atleti, finally. So out wide there to Wankar. What about Malaga's next game, Alan? I'm going to go got Betis next. Decide that we've beaten already so far this season. Malaga might be joining that team's beaten list by the end of this one. I can't get away from this right back area though. And thankfully Balotelli tracked back defensively. And giving the ball away. Santos. Oh, it's a nice one too. Can Jimenez get to that? He can't. Thankfully, Jan Oblak makes a great save. Corner to come in for Malaga. Might be making some changes sooner rather than later. Although we do have a game against Inter Milan on the horizon, I believe, in the Champions League. And Benza flicks it on, but Johnny heads away. There's just over 20 minutes left for Malaga to get themselves a goal back here and equalise. But they won't be doing that yet if Jan Oblak has anything to do with it. Nice ball out to Arias. He's calling for it down the line there, Martin. So I'll play him in. Chink back. Oh, lovely ball. Aguero! Technique was good, but the execution of the finish itself, not quite there. He started well with his leg high, and then as he swung through, his leg came down. He just got caught underneath the ball. I made a triple substitution to try and either A, hold on to our 1-0 lead, or B, build on it. Either could happen, because I freshened in midfield and attack. But hopefully, we will be able to at least stay 1-0 up. Maybe, 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 maybe get a second and put it beyond any reasonable doubt. Arias, I'll look through there for Aguero. Out of his feet, straight at the keeper. Santos, nice tackle by Koke. 
the ball taken away from him, but somehow we've still got it. Diego Costa shows some strength. Diego deflected. Spinning just wide. Tom Alomar will deliver it. I'll go towards the back post. Diego's underneath that. But Mikel wins the header. Five minutes to go against Malaga. A frustrating game, this one. Not really clicked with anyone. We will find Aguero, though. And it's him that's making the difference here. Sergio Aguero goes for a dive on the ground. It's Atleti 2, Malaga nil. It was Griezmann scoring all of the goals against Valladolid. It's Aguero scoring all of the goals against Malaga. Insert to Koke. Diego's there. Diego Give that to Jelson Martins. Arias is on the overlap. He might be able to try and get Aguero a hat-trick here. Griezmann got one against Valladolid. I'll actually shoot here with Lamar. That's pretty comfortable for Munir. But it's going to be a 2-0 victory against Malaga to go with our 3-0 victory against Valladolid. They are games that we should be winning. But you always have to make sure that you get across the line. And we, we nearly didn't there against Malaga. We needed Aguero to step up. Beautiful ball from Sesc for the first one. Second time around, though, Aguero buried it really well. He is going to be into Milan in our next game as well. So it's going to be questionable as to the scoreline in that one. They are a very good side into Milan, especially on FIFA. So we'll wait and see how we get on. But that will be in the next episode. We'll have a quick train of Rossi. Actually, I'll, I'll advance into the next month as well so we can have a look at the uh, youth scout reports. Rossi now 60 rated, so we should be able to see what his uh, potential tag is. Let's have a look in the squad report, actually, and see what it looks like. Ah, he's not in my first team, though, is he? He's still in the he's still in the youth thing. Okay, 74 to 92, then, is what he looks like, looks like at the minute, and he's still only 15. Ugh, acceleration is quite low on those potentials. I'd like that to be higher. Hopefully... He leans towards the upper end of that 92 rather than the lower end of the 74. We'll just have to wait and see. What are we going to get back from our youth scouts though as we progress into the next month? That game against Inter is going to be very, very difficult, I feel. Transfer for Joaquin. Except, thank you. And then Montero sold. Good. More youth players leaving us. 74 to 94. Still, I want to give that one more month. 73 to 94. Ooh. To be fair, he's only 15. If that, if he's 62 rated at 15, brilliant. If he's 46 rated at 15, it's a no. That's too wide a window to commit either way. You don't want to just immediately just say no because he might grow to become a great player. But you don't want to immediately say yes and then end up just wasting money on a youth player that isn't going to do anything. 75 to 94 for Suzo Yasuda. Centre back? Well, this thing's six foot three. Um, let's give it another month. See if that potential window narrows. Another centre back as well. Six foot six for Ichizo Kakawa. Neither of whom look particularly Japanese. I mean, they look more European, don't they? I know that has been an issue with. Um, with some of the youth regens. Clearly it's rearing its head here as well. 76 to 94 for you. Potential, potential. We'll give these guys another month. That's what we did last month and we'll, we'll do so again. 55 to 77 is a no. That's a no. That's a no. That's also a no. And that's a no. I really hope that the ethnicity issue with the scout reports is sorted out before the end of the year or certainly for... Um, FIFA 20. These guys can all have one more month as well, just to see if those windows narrow a little bit further. 72 to 94. Potential for Ethan Mitchell there. Henry Morgan I'll say no to. Uh, we'll definitely say no to Harvey Cox, I'm afraid. Lance Baker. I'll say no to you. Uh, we'll say no to you too. And to you. And to you. Okay. We actually have some decent potential players there. Maybe, if they continue to grow at a decent rate but it'll be into that we play in the next episode and we'll simulate the games that are the friendlies and to be fair i think i'll play inter i'll play barca and i'll play sevilla in tomorrow's episode could be a big one very big one actually drop the video like if you enjoy subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on that video tomorrow 
and I'll see you then.